It certainly does not seem a year since we listed our top picks for the environmental achievements of 2022. As the year 2024 dawns, we think it is only right to look at the successful activities and decisions made during 2023, and there have been loads. We don't have time to feature them all, so we have decided to pick one from each month of the past year. January 2023 saw Warsaw become the first Polish and Eastern European city to endorse the Fossil Fuel Non-Proliferation Treaty, a global initiative advocating for a rapid transition from coal, oil and gas. The treaty has been endorsed by the European Parliament and World Health Organization. Warsaw joins more than 70 other cities in a call for this treaty. In February, it was announced that Australia will make an area the size of Germany a marine protection zone, tripling the Macquarie Island Marine Park in the Southern Ocean. This zone will protect millions of seals, seabirds and penguins. The marine protection zone will increase the amount of protected area in Australia's oceans to 48.2% or 388,000 square kilometres. After centuries of destructive deforestation, in March of this year, the non-profit Guabeca Ecological Reserve in Brazil has restored 12,000 hectares of forest. They have seen a return of hundreds of birds, including the lowland tapir, which was reintroduced to Rio de Janeiro for the first time in 100 years. The reserve also helps protect the water supply of 2.5 million people. Decades of reduced freshwater inflows, urban development and pollution have all but destroyed Wadi Gaza's environment. In April, a recent project by the United Nations Development Programme was declared, aiming to rehabilitate the area as a nature reserve and coastal wetland. In the last two years, this project has allowed cleaner water to flow into the valley. In May, the European Parliament voted in favour of new rules banning features that limit a product's lifespan or lead to goods malfunctioning prematurely. The legislation also aims to fight greenwashing by banning the use of misleading environmental claims. In June 2023, came the announcement of the Aka Aka programme, which will focus on restoring 193 kilometres of coral reefs in Hawaii. Community leaders and cultural practitioners will use their traditional knowledge to help guide the restoration. These reefs have been in decline for 50 years. Please do remember to like and subscribe to the channel if you are enjoying this content. From July, it was legislated that France will no longer print paper receipts that aren't requested or essential, with the goal of reducing environmental waste. Such paper cannot often be recycled, so this is excellent news. Looking to reduce food waste, a non-profit organisation in Geneva introduced street-side, free-access refrigerators where people can give or take food that would otherwise go bad. It was July 2023 when the first fridge, launched a year previously, had saved three tonnes of food from going to waste and 
would go into full operation. Embracing solar energy in the perpetual winter darkness, Norway's Svalbard archipelago is now home to the world's most northern solar panels. In September, the neatly arranged group of 360 solar panels began as a project that could inspire other Arctic areas make the switch to green energy. In October, Seattle startup Atomo Coffee unveiled the world's first beanless coffee. Backed by the same investors as Beyond Meat, the coffee derives from superfoods and plant-based waste materials such as date seeds, carefully manipulated to replicate coffee's molecular framework. In November 2023, a green corridor was planted in Rio de Janeiro's rural interior. Once grown, it will connect two patches of forest together, becoming a safe passageway for the region's most endangered species, the golden lion tamarind. Finally, we arrive in December, so often a month associated with overindulgence and unnecessary waste. A study by USWITCH, which analysed data from the Global E-Waste Monitor 2020, revealed that the United Kingdom generates the second highest amount of e-waste per capita in the world at 23.9 kilograms, with Norway being the country that produces the most e-waste at 26 kilograms per person. USWITCH said that recent research suggested that by 2024, the United Kingdom will overtake Norway to become the world's biggest contributor to e-waste. So this will now be top of the agenda for the year ahead. Well, thank you for watching, and we wish you a very happy and healthy New Year.